And welcome back to the channel guys, GVids here. Today's video we're just going to be going over some of the top some of the top things that should be added into Red Redemption online. Um, basically to keep it on its lifeline and to give the players in the community something to come back to and a reason to actually play it. So let's just get right on into it here. First and foremost, I would probably say this is one of the most requested uh, things that people wanted added into the game here, which is the ability for custom lobbies. Now that's either a posse lobby, a solo lobby, or even a PvP lobby. Uh, so with the PvP lobbies, maybe the blimps for people are actually visible. So you can go to the hotspots and have your unlimited showdowns. Or for the other lobbies, obviously have the blimps hidden like they are, so you can continue doing your role play or hunting or collecting or just whatever you may be doing. I personally really like the role play idea, having a lobby designated to role play. Obviously, I know on PCs you guys can kind of get servers for that, but for the consoles, you can't really do that. You're pretty much just trying to find some buddies that you guys can go and do some role play with uh, within this vast world here that we have. And uh, unfortunately, Rockstar is kind of leaving us in the dust with it. But uh, anyways, let's just move on to some of the next things here. Uh, that's just one touch, obviously, the custom lobbies. Now, um, I would kind of actually like to see a Rockstar editor, very similar to what they have in GTA 5. I think that would be really cool, something that people can really show off their creative skills there. Where they can make clips and movies out of their gameplay or even set up really cool posse pictures and with actually those pictures being said um, it would be kinda cool if they added a photo mode um, to online I know they do have one for single player but uh, we don't actually have the ability to do so online we do have the camera but it's not actually the same as a photo mode there um, so that would be a really cool uh, added feature and very simple for them to do now this is another thing that I would personally really like and I know a lot of people out there another thing is some damn properties yes I know we have our camp and the moonshine shack but uh, pretty much the camp is the only thing that's actually like a property where we can store clothing guns have a fast travel ability um, having your food and stuff like that I think we should be able to actually have a property that also holds those type of things would be very nice to have in multiple locations around the map that you can kind of quick spawn to uh, help you travel around this huge gigantic map a little bit easier as well um, and also obviously coming in uh, with any new uh, role as they bring in if they ever do which would be an another outlaw pass it's nice to have something to rank up on and actually work for plus getting the nice little uh, prizes not so much prizes but the rewards out of it and the gold not to mention we always get a lot of gold out of those as well uh, new roles, like I was saying, of course would be a, a, a massive thing here, and that's pretty much what we're all waiting for. Anything, I would take anything at all, from a train robber, a mill runner, a farmer, rancher, anything like that would be super cool. Um, I really, really hope they give us something like that. Um, hopefully by Christmas time or the winter time. But then again, with PS5 coming around the corner, I can't even say that they're going to give us anything like these. These are just uh, are all hopes. There is nothing in the works for any of these ideas, technically. Some of them might be, but uh, there is no guarantee, of course. But the next thing here would kind of be a showdown picker. Uh, for the people that are into the showdowns, obviously, I'm more into just kind of roaming around, either hunting, collecting, or just doing some roleplay stuff and having some fun. But for the people that do want to have that, they should have the ability to um, pick which game mode they're going into, so that way they're not put it, getting into themselves into game modes where they just don't like and end up getting frustrated with it. If you want to do a shootout, then you kind of stick to your shootouts. If you want to do more of the... Um, kind of activity uh, game modes then you can kind of do those as well um, content creator much like GTA online as well would be super awesome allow people to really open up again uh, you can do a lot of role play in the creator mode there and just basically uh, open up the game to the where you really want to be able to play it 
and having telegrams would be super cool. Very again, very similar to GTA 5 Online, is be able to text people that are online. So if you have other players online you want to say something to, very similar to texting them, uh, you can sell them a, send them a telegram uh, through, the, through the online list, of course. But that'd be kind of cool, kind of be able to uh, group people up a little bit easier since you can't see anyone on the maps. So if you do actually want to try to group some people up, that'd be a great way to do it. And that just kind of goes along with the Rockstar communication. Um, obviously, they have it where you can kind of talk to people if you're close. But there really isn't any way to pinpoint people, so that'd be kind of cool if you could actually... Um, you know, communicate with one another without having to be right on top of each other. Um, then again, a lot of people don't necessarily use their mics or they just want to do it on the solo part. But uh, obviously, if you have your mic plugged in, you should be able to talk to people within the map without having to be right on top of them. And I would also like to kind of see a, uh, some more different type of animals that we can have at our camp. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a dog. Maybe we can have some pigs or some other type of animal um, or even just other domestic animals such as cats or or even something cool like some wild animals such as like a wolf or a pet bear or something like that would be really, really cool. But uh, those are just all hopes and stipulations and uh, we all know Rockstar is leaving us in the dust with PS5 coming out around the corner. Um, there has been no talks of them remastering this one or remaking it or sending it over to the PS5 console, which I don't know why they wouldn't. Um, if they've done that with uh, GTA 5, I do not know why they would not do that for us on this game as well. But uh, that's Rockstar for you, and because this game doesn't make as much as GTA, they don't give a shit about it. They're all about the money, as it's quite obvious, since they have uh, don't want to make a new GTA 5 and they're just going to keep bringing it over and over and over it. And unfortunately, I just don't see them bringing this game over it. I really want them to, but uh, maybe down the road, after a few years of the PS5 being out, they might patch this one over as well, especially if everyone is complaining that they want it over there. But uh, then again, as long as it's for the PS4 and if they keep updating it, um, then there's a reason to come back. But if they uh, leave us in the dust and make it a dead game, which it is pretty much now, um, there isn't really a whole lot going on in this game anymore for new content or things to do. Um, once you've been, been on it for as long as uh, I have since it's been in beta, you have pretty much ranked out every single thing you can possibly do. Uh, I just come back every week and uh, check out the new stuff that they've added, which is usually just a few pieces of clothing and the weekly collection set is usually what I go for. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, this is a hell of a long video for me. I'm sure most of you guys haven't made it this far into it because this is a straight video of me just babbling on, which I don't normally do. Um, so anyways, I really hope you guys found this informative in any way. If you guys did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.